What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back. The Expanse. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We're here. Last on paradigm shifting shit. Obviously we left off with the, the Ganymede station like attack and shit like that. That was fucking crazy. That was sweet. Like holy shit. Um, and we'll, I mean, it looked like everybody on the, uh, MCRN crew or whatever from, from Mars is possibly dead to this alien slash the proto molecules slash science. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we learned about, you know, the Epstein drives was like kind of the big advancement into this new era of space travel. And now we have the proto molecule and them obviously building the, the Navu. Which, you know, Fred Johnson, he's being, I'm pretty much, pretty sure he's being sued or something's going on with him in the, in the Mormons. So that's pretty exciting. What the hell? Um, the Rosinante crew has a, um, they have a sample of the proto molecule, which only Naomi knows about. Fred Johnson has nukes that they can use whenever they want. So, yeah, shit's going to pop off sooner rather than later. And some, some might say it already has with what's going on on Ganymede Station. And it's going to get interesting. It is. Once again, happy Saturday. Let's have, a good, let's have a good reaction. I know the videos have been kind of... Not, like, bad. Like, I'm still daily videos, but, like, I'm still missing some reactions. And partially, it's like I'm kind of overworking myself, and um, another part of it is I need, I need more discipline, and I need to not procrastinate. It's one of my biggest prob problems. I hyper focus to like I hyper focus on one thing, and I stick to that until my body and my mind is ready to move on to the next task, which sometimes could be editing or reacting or. Um, just whatever it may be. You know what I mean? But I do want to say before we get into the reaction, since this is one of my most viewed uh, series on the channel and a good amount of my viewers do watch. Um, next week, next weekend, I will probably be live all weekend for the release of Modern Warfare 2. Some of you know or don't know. I'm a big Call of Duty fan. Uh, I've I, it's been trash for for the last year and a half now. I mean, it's been trash for a while. And when Warzone came out, it was fire. It was amazing, and it was great. Uh, it brought me back into Call of Duty because I stopped playing after Infinite Warfare because after that it was just trash. And you know, like the pandemic, Warzone, everything brought me back. And I've been playing Warzone for a while. I switched to Apex. Now I'm not really playing much, and I really hope Mono for Two brings me back into that gaming sphere and just just get back into streaming because i love streaming man streaming is so fun i just never had like the viewership for it and there's been moments where i've had the viewership for it and it's been fucking amazing and then there's moments where it's just down and it's not great and youtube is helping me grow my audience more and more you know what i mean we're almost to a thousand subscribers which is crazy so I just want to let you all know that I will be live next weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, probably Thursday night if it drops that night or if it's Friday. I'm not totally for sure, but um, I will be live. We'll be playing Mahar for two, probably the campaign for a little bit. I'll probably play multiplayer first and then later into the night because I'll probably be up. I'll be up for a while. We'll probably grind the campaign out. I know I can play it right now. I don't want to do that yet. I'm just going to wait until the game's out fully and we'll we'll have full access to everything. Very excited for it. Uh, I know this is not Expanse related stuff, but I just wanted to let you all know if you guys are interested, hop in the chat. I'll probably be live on YouTube, not Twitch. I might go to Twitch. Who knows? Um, I am affiliate on there, so go follow the Twitch in the description below, but most likely we'll be live here on YouTube. So for sure. If you guys want and come, come, come along, chat with me live. Ask me questions. It doesn't have to be Call of Duty related. 
quite like just personal question whatever you want i'm definitely going to do a thousand subscriber q a as well once i do hit a thousand subscribers i'll post in the community tab um you know q a ask me whatever so um or you can ask him down in the comments below uh it doesn't matter to me whatever you want to do uh, i kind of want to do it when i do hit a thousand but we're, we're close to there um uh excuse me so i'm sorry about that if you didn't even watch that, whatever, if you did watch this, I hope you guys are enjoying the content, and I hope you enjoy this reaction. So let's finally, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for blabbering. Let's get into The Expanse Season 2, Episode 7, and 3, 2, 1. Red Snowflakes. Oh, it's probably so cold that it turns, oh. Uh so cold that the blood makes it turn into snowflakes oh my god maybe i'm probably wrong but that's crazy oh dude that shot's so good Dude, that's crazy. I wouldn't know the science to this, but... I like being ignorant, so it looks cool. <laughs> I think- I believe it. I believe it. That looks terrifying, but it's probably just a fucking- Yeah, that's what I thought. Is Gunny the only one who made it out alive? Why we barely avoided mutual extinction? Because the man sitting in that chair decided to talk instead of shoot. Ganymede is the worst it's ever been. Dude, I love Christian, dude. When you ever run for office? I like getting shit done, and I like to keep my head attached to my neck. Your father was smart. I like that. She is smarter. She is. Until then. Anderson does. Haven't seen him in a minute. All new arrivals must register their ID with state authority. Right, we got a little bit of food, a little bit of water on the menu, and a little bit of magic. You guys know what magic is? <laughs> God damn it. Here you go. One each. Oh, shit. Can't have had to pay tribute to him every time we parked on series. Belt attacks. Oh, is that what he calls it? We used to call it a shakedown. <laughs> I was practically running series. About time a belt was. See? You're already friends. I like it. I like it. I said one each. Back off. Leave my mom alone! You leave her alone! Man. And I was hoping you could tell us. So it fades. All lost with your team. Under the mirror rays. Gunny, you're the only one who survived. Our only eyes and ears on what happened down there. Damn, so no... Lieutenant Sutton, he, he would have picked up on it. He was... he was Lieutenant honored. Sutton was killed with 11 others on the shrine. Bleeding again. Nurse, we need a sedative. Yes, sir. It's all right. Then. Man, that's terrifying. 
Today, there was this boy that looked at me like I was a monster. I think I scared his mother. I didn't mean to. It made me remember when I was that boy. Mm. So somebody hurt your mother? I lost her a long time ago. Oh, that's what that meant. Ours, old constructs, it recreates them. It only moves forward. As we must. Move forward, what do you mean? You, we are about to rewrite the entire story of humanity. And if you like, you can be a part of that too. Wow. Thank you all for your presence today. Interesting. Very interesting. And maybe you forget about us, eh? No, no. The belt needs a born belter to be its voice. Naomi. Anderson Dawes. Should or be. Anderson Dawes. I see who is sitting across the table from them. <laughs> I will be honored to represent the belt. Okay. This cannot look upon a thing but wonder who it belongs to, huh? To make it their possession. Possession is nine tenths of the law. But that is not the way of the bell. We say the more you share, the more your bowl will be plentiful. And those that will not share. And if we are all well water, ain't gonna die, huh? And then we will know the whole truth of Eros. But right now, we believe that we have destroyed the threat. When we took over Protogen Station, we killed the madman who made that weapon. I was on Eros. I was on Eros. I saw it dying. And I was there when we killed the bastards who did. Show that the belt is ready to lead the peace. James Holden. Huh? But right now. Yes. Uh, I agree with you about the missile. Oh, for Lotus, no, no. We divide them amongst the factions. They each decide for themselves. Keeping, keeping, keeping the missiles is an act of war. You were on Eros too. Yeah? You think this is over? I hope that it is. That was one of my favorite scenes in the whole show. I love that. That was so good. You and Fred Johnson, two big noise earthers telling belters how they should run the belt. All on this goddamn thing together and everyone keeps telling me to pick a side. Naomi's not wrong. Naomi is not wrong. Decide. So, great. Everything's as it should be then. If Eris ran into Earth, wiped out half of your people, then you'd know. So how are you feeling? I gotta agree with Naomi on this one. You radioed sudden and said your team was under attack. You reported shots fired from the UN line then. Stephen Blues were charging at us, firing at us. They, they jammed our comms. I saw ships engaging in orbit. The Blues, they were closing in on us fast. Fucking Earth has attacked us. They want a war. We'll give them a goddamn war. Okay. Interesting. I feel like she said what he wanted her to say. We nearly lost Earth in all of this too, you know. And yet there she is, hmm? Shining like a jewel. Enough. We're really busy. I See, I believe you. You, I, I believe you. <laughs> Fred Johnson to return Earth's missile so readily unless he had another card to play. Hmm. None that we know of. You remind me of someone. Uh. Just missing the hat, that's all. Belters will never unify under Fred Johnson's flag. The caption said heart, but I think he said hat. She's 
getting the Frodo look back where everybody's looking back at Frodo in fellowship. Don't know if it's uh, aching bones or the constipation I'll miss more. <laughs> You've been on series too long, eh? You forget how to be a good rock hopper. Constipated, you suck a stone to get things moving. I love this shot right here. The problem here. is shot. The Stevens man, he wasn't wearing a vac suit. That's enough. She's had enough. It's hard to believe that we can make a difference. See, I love that. You know what I remember most about Earth, Gunny? I can't say you're gonna tell me a fucking story now to sell me on this bullshit. My apologies, sir. Don't apologize. It's all right, Cody. The UN has demanded your direct testimony. When you get there, you'll tell them your story. When I get there? Sergeant, you're going to Earth. Whoa, she got what she wanted, but in the worst way possible. Uh-oh. Dude, Anderson Dawes just does whatever. He gets what he wants. Docking club release, buff 38C. Override it. Can't do, system's locked out. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Don't shoot boss man. You got me. Just me. You got nothing. We lost doors. He's got Oh, it was a bait. Oh, that's it? Really? Ah, oh, son of a biscuit and bulldog. Fuck. Okay. The show's just... it. I love it, man. I love just everybody together in this scene right here. Or not this scene, but this episode. You know, Dawes and, and, and Fred Johnson together. You know, they're fighting for the same thing, but they're like both opposites as well. I mean, obviously, Dawes is a real belter. You know, he looks at Earthers and he's just like, oh, sorry. You know, he looked at, you know, Holden and in and Johnson, he was like, I mean, I respect y'all, but respectfully, you ain't doing shit. You're trash. Get out of here. We need these bombs. We need to take over. And yeah, I mean, I love that scene with the Belters. And Holden and Fred and Dawes and that was really good. I like the one-on-one -on -one scene with Drummer and Dawes. Apparently they had a history together. I love the accent. I love the, the back and forth they had together. You know, the dialect is very interesting. And kind of learning more about Amos this episode. You know, he had a little freak out when they were handing out stuff to Belters. And he kind of saw himself himself within one of the children. And the mom he pushed, you know. Sounded like he had a pretty rough childhood, and I have no idea why the way he is right now. Like, something traumatic must have happened. It could have been him being fatherless, maybe motherless, maybe bothless. You know. Maybe he killed his parents. Maybe. That's something, I mean, I don't want to th think that's a, re a possibility, but what if he did do that? I don't know if they ever s explained it. I don't think they did. And no, obviously, don't spoil it in the comments if you know, but... Man. Interesting shit. Interesting. Um... Tension between Mars and Earth. I mean, they're going to have a peace summit. Gunny is going there to, or Bobby, or whatever, um, is going there to 
Explain what happened. And what's his name? Uh, was it Thorson? Yeah, Sergeant Thorson or whatever. Uh, he was like, I don't want to hear about a thing anymore. And it's like either they're trying to cover it up or they just don't believe her. And my my I would believe that they're just trying to cover it up. I feel like Earth or Mars might might know exactly what's going on with Earth. I I I think Christian Christian is is genuine, but Aaron Wright, nah. nah. Man's talking about starting a proxy war on Ganymede. Fuck no! What are you talking about? It's ridiculous. He ain't right. Fucking Aaron, right? Fucking dog shit. Trash. You look at the OPA, you know, just like with any sort of group and, and like, just, just group, you know, you have any group you have here on Earth. With the belt and the OPA, obviously they just want to have freedom and, can, and not be under control by Earth and, and Mars, you know what I mean? Um, and... Earth and Mars looking at them as their possession. I kind of like the line about, well, if it gets too peaceful, then Earth and Mars will continue to probably still look at us as possession and shit like that. And I, 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 I he's not wrong to a certain extent. And they just want freedom as just as people, as living beings. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure, I mean, the, op I don't know, man. I mean, obviously it's there for rights and there is a little bit of, you know, socialist, you know, ideology in there. Not fully, though. I mean, they're, I mean, they just want freedom for themselves. A lot of the Belters don't care about Earth or Mars just because of what they put them through. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I, I'm curious to see how that whole thing plays out with the OPA and if they ever do potentially have freedom from Earth and Mars and how it goes and how they get to that and how they start their revolution. Are they going to drop bombs? Are they going to... A peaceful way of talking? You know what I mean? There's... It's, it's, it's tough to start a revolution and I wouldn't even know how it would be in this time period, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, blood and death will be shed. Uh, uh. No doubt. No doubt blood would be shed and there will be death. That's what it takes to gain freedom, I guess, you know? And to be fair, one thing I've noticed is, like, freedom of speech isn't really a critical issue talked about in this mostly it's just freedom you know basic human rights for the belt at least everybody else is kind of okay i would say we haven't really seen the political how the political landscape and just how life is on on earth and how the at least economic part of society works on earth which i hope we do get to more i would like to see that you know, just how how your regular everyday person on Earth lives. What do they do? You know, I would I would probably assume that everybody, regardless of who you are, has basic assistance or basic like, you know, housing needs met, work or not work, food, clothing, shit like that. Your basic needs. And then the rest is obviously your own work. So whatever money you make, you can spend on whatever you'd like. Or trade, bartering. Um, trying to think of anything else. Like Definitely a lot of ways. But I'm just curious to see how on an economic side it, it works on Earth now in this type of uh, society. Um, so that's definitely one thing I'm interested in for sure. 
Um, and just like what kind of jobs are out there? Like what kind of like what's social media look like in this time period? What like porn? <laughs> what does porn look like? Is there even porn? Drugs, psychedelics, weed. You know what I mean? What what like what advancements have they made in the world of drugs? You know, is there a greater psychedelic slash drug than DMT at this point in time? You know what I mean? So, who knows? I wonder if we'll learn more into that. Who knows? The protomolecule might be the most, the biggest drug there is because it connects everybody together. Makes them whole as one. And together as a society. As a classless raceless thoughtless society that is the proto-molecule world no I don't know that's just me guessing I have no idea how I, I don't know I'm, I'm still very interested um but again good episode like I said I like seeing um you know Fred Johnson Anderson Dawes all together in one room I mean that's cool to see very cool to see and just, yeah. And Anderson has Kodazar. They're on the move. Uh, what's his name? Diogo was a bait. So shit's going to get interesting. Earth, Mars, Fred, Dawes, Fight Night. And it could be interesting. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Our daily video is every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. And all the social medias down in the description below. And ladies and gentlemen, before we go, let's take a good rip off the cark. And, uh, yeah, not a lot left in it. But cheers. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs>